it's beautiful. It's, it's artistic seeing the images that OCT produces. Basically, you, you take a laser and you shine that laser into a tissue and you get reflections. And basically, OCT measures those reflections. It's a very comfortable test. You sit down in a chair, put your chin in a machine, ask to look at a light. Uh, the test takes approximately anywhere from five seconds to 20 seconds per eye. What OCT's allowed us to do is diagnose things that we didn't even know existed prior to the development of OCT. This is a device that touches millions of patients per year. Being able to appreciate on a daily basis that we do have healthy boys, um, you know, is something we'll be grateful for forever. In my clinic, I, I see that way. When I see an old lady, I think of my mom. And I, when I see technologies like OCT that can prevent my mom going into blindness, um, it, it motivates me a lot. And then Dr. Toth came in and she said, the first thing out of her mouth is she said, I can fix you. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. The really pivotal role that OCT played in the treatment revolution in retina was the ability to show that pharmacotherapy, medications injected into the eye work. There's just no chance OCT would be where, where it is today, benefiting people, powering economies, improving quality of life, if it wasn't for government funding. Without government funding, we would not have been able to do research. And we wouldn't be able to continue to push the envelope uh, as we're doing today. I think by the time I retire, we're going to be able to have a scan in a fraction of a second that would characterize almost the entire eye. One of the emerging interesting fields in OCT, which is I think also very important for the future, is to miniaturize OCT, to make it smaller. So it's kind of like Google Earth, right? So I'm looking down there at the street, but now I can come down and do street view, and literally I can be standing on the retinal surface. I can walk around and look under the membrane, behind the membrane, and check different views before, during, and after I'm finishing a maneuver. If you look back on the past 25 years and you look at the incredible technology and the commercialization and the impact on, on mankind in terms of quality of life and reducing pain and suffering, that's, that's a tremendous accomplishment. As I look forward, I see more than twice that amount. So I think we're not at a plateau. We're not even at an inflection point. Uh, I think the opportunity for future impact in, in biomedical imaging in general and OCT in specific is still incredibly promising looking forward.